If you willing and able Just give me my space I know that shit makes you anxious But promise I'm grateful Shawty give me what I want and need So she can get just what she want from me Even if just a bit of company Yeah, of company Sugar, you got that something special I felt that shit right when I met you That shit that made these instruments Songs, I know I said it before, but I feel like I'm in love And hey, sugar, I can never let go I feel that shit when both our hands hold That shit that make these instruments Hey dolls, what's good? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kayla Lachey. Today I have a super fun, like, fit vlog to share. There's just a lot of things going on. So go get a snack, go get you a snack, come back, because we're gonna get into a fun filled video. So before I jump into today's vlog, I wanna give a shout out to my friends over at Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I ordered some new jewelry pieces for the fall season and honestly, I couldn't wait to unbox them. I already have some of them on right now. They're so stinking cute. So I got to put the girls on to my favorite sustainable jewelry company. They always have the most beautiful, delicate, dainty pieces on the website. I like them because it's quality and I'm all about quality over quantity. I'd rather have like a small jewelry collection that I know is going to hold up over the years, pieces that are timeless versus a bunch of jewelry that's gonna tarnish and irritate my skin. And I have sensitive skin and I wear their earrings every single day, as you guys know. So this is the packaging that my pieces came in. You guys know this is nothing new on my YouTube channel. I'm obsessed 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 with all of my Ana Luisa like they never disappoint me so the first thing that I picked up was this tri set it came with three different rings and they're all made out of recycled gold they're very dainty and delicate and as you can see they're stackable but you could also spread them out and wear them on every single finger if you wanted to I think they're all just so cute paired together and I get mine in like a ring size 7 and sometimes I'll get 8s because this finger's a little thick. You know what I'm saying? It's a little thick. So I like to get different ring sizes to fit all my fingers. I think I can even wear a 6 on my actual ring finger. But how cute is that? Then I also picked up this wavy ring. Stunning. You can see it looks so cute. I love wearing rings, especially on this hand because I have my finger tattoos and when my nails are done. I just feel so like polished. And I also snatched a bracelet because I love bracelets, especially in fall. Like something about like just stacking a bunch of bracelets with like a chunky knit sweater. Like it's just giving the cozy vibes. So I love all the bracelets I have and I thought this would be really pretty to add into my collection it's like a gold link and then it has some stud detail on some of the links this is called the Savaryaz bracelet I don't know if I'm saying that correctly but I gotta put this on because all the pieces together like all these pieces I mean the ones I have are all recycled gold they do make recycled silver but let me know if you guys are gold or silver I feel like I'm more of like a gold type of girl so all of my jewelry items from Ana Luisa go and match perfectly together so it's just always nice to have a variety of combinations super delicate like look how cute that is it's just that little bit of sparkle that I feel like we all need 
in our collections so definitely check out Ana Luisa I'm gonna pop the link in the description box below for you dolls and if you use my code a doll 10 it will save you guys 10% off of your order so definitely check it out and start shopping today because they have so many stunning pieces that I think you guys are going to be obsessed with because I've been obsessed with Ana Luisa for years now and I don't see that obsession stopping anytime soon I just love that my collection is growing and it's growing with quality pieces and I'm at that point in my life where quality is top priority versus like I said quantity and I love that for me sorry my hair is acting a little suspicious <laughs> I just did my grocery shopping I got healthy things I'm so proud of myself and I kind of left hungry so I think that says a lot I got one bad thing but honestly they're cookie doughs bites whatever the heck that's not bad if you ask me so I'm gonna go home and give you guys a little bit of a grocery haul just for my weekly reset a lot of this stuff will last me more than just the week and I'm just going to make things super simple so it can help me stay on track and um, easy for me to log and just quick meals because y'all already know I'm lazy when it comes to cooking. I just want to eat when I'm hungry. So I want to give you dolls a quick grocery haul and I got my reusable bags. I remembered this time. So I just picked up some essentials, very much so a basic grocery run so i snatched some of the protein pasta that i really like this is the thin spaghetti and i'll just get whatever they have they honestly all taste the same stocked up on my favorite rice for the week i like the garden veggie and then i just got one of the spanish style rice those are really good i also picked up some of my favorite coconut milk yogurts they have the raspberry back in stock. I put vegan white chocolate chips as a snack or I'll throw like a third of a scoop of my blessed blueberry pie protein for protein yogurt that's dairy free at home. So I got these for my snacks and I like to have things that are like fermented because it's good for your gut health. I also grabbed the Oatly Barista Edition oat milk. This is what I've been using at home with my Nespresso because Starbucks, Starbucks is giving luxury cafe vibes but starbucks quality and that doesn't make sense to me so we've been doing that at home and it's been really nice i got some olives from the olive bar because i have uh like charcuterie meats and stuff i picked up some breakfast sausages i don't have the biggest appetite first thing in the morning but i like to eat something especially with some protein so i like to have those stocked up for a sweet treat i like getting cookie dough and just baking it and recently I've been in the habit of grabbing a piece from the freezer and just eating it because I just have a small sweet tooth and you can actually eat this cookie dough raw. I saw a commercial on TV about it. So yeah, I'm probably going to bake some of these because I like to have cookies. And then I stocked up on vegetables and this week we're doing frozen broccoli florets. They barely fill up the bags anymore. It's such a scam. It's the inflation, honestly. Um, so that'll last me like one bag for like two meals. I don't know, guys. So I also grabbed some green beans. Love that. Try to focus on eating my greens. I feel like it really helps me feel good when I have enough micronutrients in my body. I found the Wegmans brand English muffins, the whole wheat ones. These ones are dairy free. So I've never tried these. They didn't have my normal Dave's Killer brand, but this is eight grams of protein for one muffin. So love that. And then I also had to stock up on some proteins so i was craving some ground beef i got two of these i'll probably throw one in the freezer i like to get a super lean ground beef because you don't have to drain it and dirty up another dish and make a mess you know so i like the 95 5 percent so love that and i also went ahead and picked up their grilled chicken in lemon and garlic something quick and easy 
uh, something new. I really hope we can eat this up before it spoils in the fridge. But you know, I felt like cooking this, like sauteing it, you know, if spinach cooks down, it would make me eat it if I sauteed it instead of eating it raw. So we got some organic baby spinach. And then I needed to get more oil, so I went with the avocado this time because you can cook it at higher temperatures. So that's fun. And I've been obsessed with my spaghetti squash. Love these so much. They're so easy. I just did a recipe um, on a video for you guys. So these are very much so in season. And I just feel like now is the time. Just roast it. It just smells so good. And they're sweet. And then pasta sauces. I got my normal marinara. And then I wanted to try... How do you say this? Arabad... Mm -hmm. Girl, it's a spicy tomato sauce, and it's dairy-free. I just like the Rayos brand. Arabata? Arabarata? Baratia. So, I like to do meatless spaghetti with my protein pasta because I'm still getting a lot of protein, like 30 grams in three servings, which is amazing for a plant-based meal. Or if I want to add meat, I can make a meat sauce with the ground beef or what I like to do is add uh, the grilled chicken on the top and it's really nice. So that was my grocery run for this week. It was like $126, but it's fine. It's all healthy foods and you know, we're trying to stay on track, eat and cook at home and buy things that are convenient like frozen vegetables and these rice. Honestly, I'm gonna tell you this is like two dollars and some change this is where the money went so if you want to make your rice at home in a rice cooker do that that for me is just more convenient it's already weighed out it's seasoned and boom it takes 90 seconds to cook but whatever makes you stay on track do that um meal prep whatever this just a little basic grocery haul you guys so let me get a thumbnail pic of this and then i'm gonna put this stuff away and Yeah. Your girl just got a super exciting package in the mail, you guys. I ordered some SUPs from EHP Labs, obviously, and there has been something in this box that I have been wanting to try out. It's a protein water powder. Protein in our water. <laughs> First of all, you already know that I love anything high protein, especially if it's like a plant-based thing. So I wanted to taste test this for you guys and give you my honest thoughts. And basically, is it worth it? How much protein's in this protein water mix, etc. It's called the Aqua Collagen. It's a protein plus hydration. So I love collagen. You guys know I take it every day for my hair. I'm trying to grow my hair out to booty crack length. So if I can get that in with protein, I was like, heck yeah, we're definitely going to do a taste test. So I believe this comes in three different flavors and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to try first. So I picked up the raspberry refresh. And I thought this would be good because I don't always want like a protein shake, something thick and heavy and creamy. So something light and refreshing. I was like, bet. We got to try this out today. So it says it's for hair, nails, and joints, gluten-free, dairy-free, and it has collagen types one and three. So definitely check this out. I'll link it down below so you guys can read more about it. And it also has coconut water powder in here. Um, collagen peptides is the source and how much protein do we get 10 grams of protein for two scoops and there's 24 servings in here so we're definitely gonna get into that and you already know I had a re-up on my creatine I take the EHP labs crea 8 so definitely check out my recent video I did on creatine where I gave you dolls an update on my one year of taking creatine every single day and how that journey has gone for me so far and my results because baby we got a transformation i was shook when i compared older photos from early on in the journey to the middle of the journey to where we're currently at so i'm obsessed you get 100 servings in this creatine it is the best 100 percent monohydrate creatine and it's smooth it's just so easy to take and incorporate within your day 
So I'm going to get into this because baby, I'm thirsty. I had my coffee this morning and coffee makes me dehydrated. So we need to hydrate the body. We're going to get into this. I have this thing where I have to open my subs perfectly because I don't want any paper residue on the lip. That bothers me for some reason. So we got a clean break and the scoopers right on top. So how much water do we put in here? Mix one to two scoops of the aqua collagen with six to 12 ounces of cold water and consume immediately. For best results, take two scoops a day. So I'm gonna do the full two servings because baby, I want that protein. Gotta start my day out right. That's what it looks like. It's a pretty big, <laughs> Leroy, it's a pretty big scoop, but it also is like a very fine powder. I don't know. And I'm gonna put ice in mine because I like icy cold drinks. I don't like lukewarm. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this off. jar because it actually has measurements on the side. I think I put 13 in there. So yeah, I'm just going to mix this up. I like the color. It's really pretty. It definitely mixes very well, which makes sense because it was a very fine light powder consistency. But you can put this in your shaker bottle like they said if you want. You know what? I should put my creatine in here because I just, you know, you gotta get it in when you can get it in. But I wanna taste this and the consistency. It tastes like a Kool Aid. <laughs> Definitely very good. I would say it, it's more comparable. Have you ever had like um, a crystal light? Like it's like a lighter version of a Kool-Aid, but it's very refreshing for sure. And it has a fruity taste to it. So I think I'm gonna put my creatine in here because I have one open. I had to order a backup you guys cause I'm almost out. So I could definitely see myself having this 10 grams of protein. I'm sorry, that's more than a cliff bar. So why wouldn't I? And like I said, I don't always wanna have meat or make a protein shake or if I've already had a protein shake and I wanna have like a little extra protein in my day, get my collagen in, I can do that. I do already take the EHP Labs Marine Collagen, which is called their Oxy Glow. Love this so much. So I don't know if I would need to take both, but honestly, I feel like it's fine because like I said, my skin's been popping, my hair is growing and so are my nails. So I'm not even mad about that. But I just threw my creatine in here, so. They did that with this aqua collagen. I gotta get my hands on the other flavors though. I think there's a watermelon one and I can't remember the other one. It's so good. Like, like where is the protein though? Because I don't taste it. <laughs> How do they do it? I don't know, but it said to drink it immediately, but put the ice in there. It's a game changer. 
So I'm on my fitness pal, and because I can't scan barcodes, because I have the free version, I could only find their watermelon wow flavor, which is the same amount of macros. Definitely want to be logging this so you can account your 10 grams of protein, you guys. So I love that. I don't always log my drinks that are low-cal, but baby, we want the protein to pop up in our macros for the day. I love this for me. Shawty wanna ride with me, ride with me. I need to get ready for the gym, but I just got a Gymshark package. What? I'm vlogging. Oh. Might as well take my pre-workout. You already know the vibes, cotton candy oxy shred. Getting into it. Gym shark. So I wanted to get a sweat set for the fall season, and I love my oversized crew neck from them. I can't remember if I got it in a medium or a large, but I wanted to get the hoodie because I don't have any hoodies. I wanted a really good oversized hoodie and one of my dolls was talking about how she loves this collection for the sweatpants and I just need some really good thick quality sweats and this is definitely oversized so I sized up by two sizes I would never get a hoodie in a small that's ridiculous that's my true size y'all know the bigger the better so I got mine in a large and this is like the black color it's such good quality because it has the logo embroidered and it's like a tunnel and as far as the inside i was worried it wouldn't be cozy because it's not like a fleece lining it's like a terry so hopefully i like it it's very heavy and it was really affordable so i just wanted like a cute matching hoodie with some joggers honestly it's massive but like that's the vibes I probably could do a medium because that's what I have um, in the crew neck but super baggy I'm not mad with this at all and to go with it I picked up the oversized joggers in a small so super excited about this I wasn't sure if I should go true to size but I know I have a small waist and I didn't want it to be too baggy. There are adjustable strings in the inside. Um, and it looks to be very baggy. And guess what? They have pockets. Skims needs to take some notes because she will have pockets on her stuff. So I want to see how I like this. And if the leg length is good because I don't do no high waters. And that seems to be an issue for me is finding the perfect pair of sweatpants. Um, they could be longer. The size small fits nice. Yeah. Yeah, we like this. Show you guys the pants. Oh, sorry, Leroy. It's definitely a nice waist band. I feel like it's flattering and it makes my hips kind of go out with the pockets. That's why I love joggers with pockets. They could be a little bit longer, but they're not terrible. Um, I don't think it would make me want to go up to a medium. I guess I could say that. But I feel like they just look so cute with some easy foams, running errands. I think I would definitely order this in other color options. Yeah, this is super cute. Probably would go for a medium because this is super big for a large but sometimes you just want to be swallowed up in your clothes you know we all have those days so let me know if you guys like this collection because I'm obsessed and it's perfect for this time of year do you think this is too big y'all should I get a medium in this no the large I don't know Christina I need to stop procrastinating and get my butt to the gym. That's what I need to do. Oh, there's a pocket right here. We love to see it. I feel like I need a beanie. You know what I really want? 
wear my curls out in a big fro diffuse it and then get a beanie i feel like that would be a vibe but it would give me really bad hat hair i need to try that out i need to go get some hats or something i need to go on pinterest and look up cute curly hairstyles with hats because i want to be that girl that wears like a dad hat but how you style the curls with that like a black dad hat it's giving Passive purple. I did laundry the other day, so I'm gonna put these away. Passive purple is like one of the OG colors from an early release, and it's that old material that I love, and it just makes the booty look so good. Yeah, these are beautiful colors. So let me know if you guys want me to do a full outfit amplify legging try on, because if nobody wants it, I'm not gonna waste my time trying on all those dang on leggings. You got the wrong one. I think for my perfume today, because you guys know I love Dossier. It's not sponsored. But I like wearing my Dossier scents to the gym because they're obviously way less than like the real thing. So they have a dupe for Baccarat. And it's called Ambery Saffron. And I looked on the website because I had this a while ago. It's still available. So go get you some of this. You're going to smell like luxury in the gym. You know, without having to break the bank. Mm-hmm. And also what I found is my Brazilian crush, the number 68, literally smells like Baccarat. So this will always sold out. I'll link this below. It's so good. I even have like a mini of it because great for the gym bag too. So, so, so sweet. And just this scent lasts forever on the body. And I like putting it on after showering um, in my night routine. So that's what we're smelling like today. We're smelling like luxury on a budget. And I'm feeling like a little workout Barbie in my little purple pink fit today. So we got the pink vibes. And then I don't know if I want to do high socks. Yeah, we'll do high socks today. Love this for me. I can only pray to the gym gods that it's not busy. But my oxy shred is kicking in. So hopefully by the time I leave the workout, my video will be approved. So I can post it for all the girls. I don't know if I should wear a black shirt. Should I wear a black shirt? Does black hit the same? Low key, I'm kind of feeling the black with the black in my socks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put the black on. Come here. My dog is so weird. He'll just like push my door open like he's the police. <sighs> Why is being a fit girl so much work? Look, looking cute is important. If you don't look or feel good, your workout is not going to be hitting the way that it should. Yeah, I like this. This is kind of, yeah, it's doing what it needs to do. It's doing what it needs to do. Should I wear the black Converse? Hit him with the black Converse today. It's giving emo vibes. I think I'm gonna hit him with the black converse. Oh my god, stop playing with me. So I'm gonna catch you guys. Oh, I need to go fix my edges. What's going on here? I'm gonna catch you guys in a bit. I hope that you dolls enjoyed hanging out with me today. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa. I'm going to pop the link in the description box below. And of course, don't forget to use my code AKDOLL10 at checkout so you guys can save 10% off. So don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and I will catch you dolls in my next vlog very soon.